And today we're going to be talking about how a client doubled his margin and revenue uh, this year working with us compared to last year of what he was doing. It's really worked out for this client pretty well, even though it was kind of a wonky strategy per se compared to the number of strategies that um, a lot of times that we do. How's it going everyone? This is Josh with another video for you guys. And today we're going to be talking about how a client doubled his margin and revenue uh, this year working with us compared to last year of what he was doing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back end numbers. So he emailed me uh, his numbers for 23 and 2024 for January and February. So in January 23, he made about 12.6 in revenue. And in 2024, he made about 24.6 in January. Then if we take a look at February, he made about 11.2. And in February 24, he made about 24.8. So we basically doubled uh, his income and his revenue in those two months that he had on with a certain campaign that he had on versus our strategies and what we're doing. So, um, you know, this is no seasonality at all. So this is like month compared to month. So there's no nothing going to be like kind of wonky or going on with that. This is comparing 2024 numbers last year to 2023 numbers and what he was doing before. So uh going on and right to it let's take a look at in-app and then go from there so this client sells referrals pcs we took a look at the time frame between january and february comparing it to the previous year of what they were doing so right off the bat you can see that we're using standard shopping and then last year that they were running pmax so they're pretty heavily into it they had dell hp acer alienware and the corresponding campaigns and then we have something similar as well where we have uh, Dell, HP, Acer, uh, and the corresponding campaigns as well. You can see that we're spending about 17% less than last year. We have about 6% increase in ROAS. It doesn't really offset the budget though. That was down about 17%. Uh, conversions are down by 56%. CPA is up by 92%. And the average CPC is down by 41%. So you could say, wow, this is some really wonky numbers. Uh, let's start with the average CPC and go from there. So usually we'll see an increase in CPCs when you switch away from Pmax to standard shopping, but this is a different story. It's actually down by 41%. So you can see right off the bat, we have different bid strategies. Uh, we have maximized clicks for one, two, three, four, five, six campaigns. Uh, and all those campaigns are pretty much standard shopping, top of funnel uh, campaigns that have maximized clicks. So those are all pretty much cold traffic channels. And the reason why uh, the CPCs are down is because we're not bidding for the absolute top. Uh, we're bidding for a second or third position. And another reason why we're doing that is because their stock kind of changes in and out pretty quickly. So they'll have a product in stock for about a week and then that one will go out of stock and then they'll have another product that shows up that they sell. So keep in mind that they sell refers PCs and so they can't manufacture or produce them themselves or have like kind of a set standard for what they buy it's kind of get what they take from their distributors that they get so they could have like a, a laptop that might have a slightly different um, ram or slightly different ssd drive and that completely changes the part number uh you know, like the um, SKU or the gtins and so google will think that's a completely different product so with maximized clicks a thought process is Google doesn't really have to learn what that product is as often with the changes that we have. And also with the, you know, the competitiveness of the market on, you know, one or two, and there's so many different types of costs and they're pretty competitive in their cost. Um, we're kind of showing second or third because we know that people can be shopping around for different prices or different products and they're doing pretty well with those, um, that bidding strategy. So that's why the CPCs are so far down. Then we take a look at the CPA, why it's up by 92%. So we know that um, with Pmax, um, it follows the user a lot more often in the journey of the client or the customer. So with standard shopping, the bidding strategy that we have here, we're basically only showing like once or twice to an individual or client or customer uh, versus where in Pmax, um, you're going to be following that user. It's going to be collecting that data and holding on to that data or that uh, customer a lot longer in that time frame. So it's going to be remarketing into 
let's say, um, you know, search. It can go into shopping. It can go into display remarketing. It can go into, you know, Gmail. So it's spinning little by little just to hold on to that data and that client. And then the conversions will be uh, more populated inside in app because um, the acquisition um, is pulled more um, and easier since it's remarketing. So with this, with standard shopping, it's more top of funnel cold traffic and a lot less into remarketing. So you're going to hit the client one or two times. Uh, that data will get lost eventually. And then they'll convert either organic or direct. And it doesn't be, it's not pulled into uh, in app and Google, so you'll lose that acquisition. So that's why the conversions are a lot less as well. Another reason why it's less too is because we're running into a higher margin campaign. So we kind of segment this client out into um, high margin Dell, mid to low for servers, high, high margin. So instead of just showing for, you know, certain products or all the products all at once, uh, we only pick the ones that, you know, have a higher margin. And so that way uh, with those conversions, it's going to be a lot more valuable to us than let's say uh, something that costs less over here and it's not as profitable, maybe 10% margin versus a 30% margin. So what I've seen Google likes to do is let's say you throw everything into one campaign and you have all those products in there. It's going to go after the easiest converting product. And most of the time it's usually the lower cost products. Um, that get the most conversions because it's the easiest or easiest to get the conversion on those products. So this is how we have it segmented out. And that's why uh, the conversions are a lot less as well. Uh, and then with row, it's kind of the same concept of, you know, not everything gets converted or um, basically shown inside the in-app when you're just running cold traffic. The attribution is a lot more loss versus the Pmax and remarketing. That basically pretty much sums up this account so kind of touching base up with maximize clicks uh, it's not the end all be all I wouldn't change your account to maximize clicks unless you want to do a test first but um, kind of how it works for this client like I said before we don't want to show up for that first position really like all the other competitors are doing we don't want to be into remarketing display um, like maybe the other competitors are doing so we're kind of hacking Google Ads and saying hey we only want to show up for this we only want to show up as max amount of the budget and get the max amount of clicks and get the max amount of exposure that we want, knowing that people are going to be shopping around and um, get the most out of what we're doing. So it's really working out for this client pretty well, even though it's kind of a wonky strategy per se, compared to the number of strategies that um, a lot of times that we do. Uh, but that's why we always kind of double check and make sure to run tests, making sure it lines up with the back end numbers, and then learning new things as we go along too, because everything can be different you know every platform or um you know the market that you're in can be different and so different strategies can have a different effect on you guys so it's not like you know we have a certain way of doing things only um we just make sure that we do some tests and make sure that the back end numbers follow suit so that's what we do here at solite and uh but yeah that's pretty much it and uh, i'll see you guys next time Hey everyone, my name is Carmen and I am a Senior Client Manager here at Solutions 8. My topic today is to talk to you about how you should put on your CMO thinking cap to determine how Google Ads might fit into your overall marketing strategy. So we had a client who came to us last